I've talked about how hand movement can impact a move in another video, how spectators, no matter how focused they are on the cards, will also be looking at your hands during just about every move you ever do. Taking a step back, I don't think movement is the only way your hands can have an impact. You could reword the point of that video from hand movement affects the feel of a move to hands affect the feel of a move. Their movement is one way they can have an impact. In this video, I want to talk about another way hands can have an impact, what I'll be calling hand posture. Basically, the way you position your hands can change the way people perceive the move. Just as body posture can imply sadness, confidence, relaxation, or so on, hand posture can create a different feeling as well. Even if two people are doing the exact same movement, their posture can change the way you interpret that movement. As a comparison, you can think about skateboarding. Two people doing a tray flip might technically be doing the same trick with the same movements, but that doesn't mean they look the same. The skater's posture can have a pretty major impact on the way the viewers perceive the trick. Nigel Houston, for instance, looks very relaxed and calm. His tray flip just sort of happens, as if his body is hardly influential on the board, like the board just flipped while he observed. With someone like VL Skate, on the other hand, you can see him set up and get ready for it. His body is mildly tense and you can tell it takes a bit more effort. I don't want to imply that one is objectively better than the other, I just want to acknowledge that there is a difference. Even though the flip isn't about the skater's posture, there's a clear difference between the two. There's a similar effect going on with cards. If your hands look tense, then someone might think you're struggling with the move. A looser, more casual grip implies a certain level of comfort that makes it more like Houston's tray flip than VL Skate's. How tense the hands are are just one of the ways hand posture can influence a move. The orientation of your hand Hands, for example, is also important. Now this might sound a little bit more like hand position than hand posture, but I think for the sake of simplicity, we can group these two together under the hand posture umbrella. Most moves will have a very defined orientation your hands need to be in at all times, but you're still left with a little wiggle room. Just opening into Z grip, you can see how you can move your hands around while still technically being in Z grip. Your hands will move around like this in every move, so those small changes can add up. For example, here's what Maverick looks like if I try to keep my hands as square as possible. Now I can try the exact same move, but with the opposite goal. Already you can start to see some differences. You can imagine if I practiced a certain style more, or compared myself to someone else, there could be a pretty significant difference. When you're creating a move, it might be useful to think about the hand posture while you're considering how the cards will move. For example, in one of my moves, I wanted a more organic and easygoing feel, so I tried to have both palms facing up for as much of the move as possible. For me, this posture invokes feelings of cupped hands getting water, instead of something like a mechanic forcefully using a wrench. There are, of course, other things the hands can do to affect the feeling of a move, but I think posture is an easy one to notice. 